Hello guys, this is Leonidas GFX and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're very motivated again, so let's do another tutorial. Today you will learn um, how to use the self-fracture add-on to fracture a text in Blender. The self-fracture add-on is basically the same as I think it is called the Nitro Blast add-on in Cinema 4D and it will allow you to fracture an object into uh, single parts. Um, I already have a text here. Um, the font is Nova, Nova Solid before anyone asks and we need to convert it. So I'm gonna make a duplicate and move it to the last layer just in case I need it later again because we can't change the text after this then I will convert it to a mesh go into edit mode, select all, uh, press W to remove the doubles oh, and I'm gonna turn on my screencast keys so you, you can see what I'm doing yeah and now we will have to add a remesh modifier because the um, self rapture add-on needs some geometry uh, to work good otherwise there will be a lot of bugs and also if you see some of the faces are re really small but some are really big and yeah the uh, remesh modifier uh, removes, removes those problems and also most of the faces are triangles which is a bit tricky to handle for the self rapture add-on so um, uncheck remove disconnected pieces and increase the octree oct oct depth to something about 8 or 9 um, I think 8 should be enough in my case yeah if there are some bugs um, like here at the U you can see it uh, you can play around with the scale and yeah they should disappear yeah or you can just increase the octree depth and as you can see if we go into wireframe mode it is a good mesh made out of uh, quads so yeah then apply the remesh modifier go into edit mode and I'm just gonna remove the doubles again and it removed some of those which can prevent bugs then I'm gonna set the origin to the geometry and snap all that back to the center and now we have to go into the user preferences go into the add-on step and search for cell and it already pops up the self fracture thingy check it click save user settings go back into 3d view then you can see that here's already a new button with self fracture just click this and it opens up this new window and there are a lot of settings and i'm not gonna explain all of those but uh, what I always use is the noise, turn it up to 1 so the um, fractured parts will have a random shape and random scale then source limit will define the maximum uh, parts it will create and we can increase this to about 150 you can play around with all of those settings if you want then click OK and yeah it's fracturing the parts the text and um, blender might freeze and windows will give out this warning that blender might not be working anymore and just ignore this don't click anything then blender will crash because as you can see that in the background blender is uh, fracturing our text although it is saying that blender isn't working anymore so just don't click anything and wait
yeah and now as you can see it's finished and if we go into the next layer there are our fractured parts and yeah it's looking very good there are no bugs yeah this this no that's okay yeah what then what I like to do um, is select all of them join them together so the, so they are in one mesh you can remove the doubles again and now if you want to make like a fractured text for a um, single image you can uh, use smooth smooth vertex so it looks like it is destroyed the text but I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna leave it as it is um, then we can click smooth smooth shading and add a edge split modifier so now it's looking a bit better then you can rename it I'm gonna rename it with Z so in our um, dope sheet it will appear just at the bottom and if you want to uh, check another uh, um, object you don't have to scroll down um, through 150 self fractured parts so I'm gonna call it Z and then um, text fracture yeah and then select all uh, hit P and separate by loose parts now you have all those fractured parts at the bottom of the list of your uh, outliner it's called not dope sheet um, then select all set the origin to geometry and yeah that's it now you have fractured the text and now I'm gonna quickly use the commotion plugin to animate those uh, single parts if you don't know how to use um, the the commotion plugin there's a link in the description where um, I made a tutorial on how to use commotion and yeah let's get started if you don't know how to use it just watch the tutorial and then get get back to this tutorial um, yeah I'm gonna select all and so lock right scale uh, commotion tab um, transforms to delta transforms then remove the keyframe now we can animate one of those um, let's say 20 frames insert a scaling keyframe scale it all the way down to zero set another keyframe then select all of those and copy the animation and offset it from let's say the cursor then it will yeah build up the text like that or let's um, frame offset means that um, how many frames break there is between animating one and the next um, object so I'm gonna set this to uh, let's say let's say three and the threshold means how many um, uh, objects will be animated per frame so I'm gonna increase it to six and then off uh, copy the animation and then offset yeah so that's it now we have animated it and I'm gonna delete the remesh text because it has just too many verticals we don't need it anymore and uh, I made a copy so I can just uh, copy this and paste it in the first layer set the origin to geometry uh, yeah, and snap it to the center. I think I used the wrong text there. 
move this to the last layer and then yeah now we can when the text stops building up I think at this frame yeah so then I will go to the next frame and insert a scaling keyframe for this text and then here set a scaling keyframe then scale it down to zero so that they oh no you have to use individual origins I think and scale it down yeah so now it builds up and then should be replaced with the other text so it's scaling keyframes and yeah now it's working so that's it how you can um, animate an object and fracture it with the plugin self fracture and the plugin commotion uh, in Blender. So that's it with this tutorial. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like, make sure to subscribe and comment if you want to know something else. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Bye for now.